Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to use the clipping feature in Medibang Paint. Clipping is a very useful tool and it is essentially like an alpha lock sort of function. And here's how you use it. So firstly, you're going to want to have a layer with something drawn on it. I'm just using these two random shapes and squiggles. And you're going to want to go into your layers menu. Now right here, you will see the little icon that says clipping. You can click that to turn clipping on and off. You're gonna want a layer above whatever you want to do this feature on, and then you're gonna wanna click clipping on that layer. You can then start drawing on that layer, or you can convert a different layer to this. It'll have the same effect, but I think converting it to clipping first works better. Then, Simply draw on and you will see that because this layer is clipped, it will only let you draw on the layer underneath it. So anything that's drawn on the layer underneath is the only thing you'll be able to draw inside. It just won't let you draw outside of whatever's been drawn. If we turn clipping off, this will go off and you can see it goes all outside of the bottom drawing. But if you turn it back on, it will go like that again. You can add as many clipping layers as you want here. They will all be here on different layers, so you can do that. They'll all be pushed slightly to the back with this arrow too, so any of those ones pushed back there are clipping layers. It is also worth knowing that you can change the opacity of the overall clipped layers and the base layer by just changing the base layer's opacity. This can be really helpful for things like colouring in line art, or for doing certain parts of texturing and colouring on coloured patches. I tend to use this for shading and coloring usually. I'll have an area set up and then I'll be able to clip it when I shade it. So if I have this area set up here and if I go on one of the clipped layers, then shading would be much easier because I can do this kind of thing instead and I don't have to worry about going outside of the lines. So generally it is super useful for stuff like that. It's also worth noting that you can do this kind of thing and have the selection area and use a photo when you're clipping onto this, so that the photo will be clipped onto there, you can do that too. Overall, it's a very useful feature and one that I actually genuinely use almost every time I draw, since I like to make sure that all my coloring and stuff is as sleek and as well done as it can be. It is also good for making sure that your layers don't get jumbled up, so if there's an option to clip something, I would say go for it just to make things a bit easier for yourself and a bit less confusing. You can, of course, take off any of the clipped layers at any time and make them unclipped at any time that you want. That is totally down to you. And the clipping can go on for tons and tons and tons of layers, so you don't have to worry about having too many clipped onto one thing. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that you enjoyed, and if you did, maybe consider supporting. Bye!